in this morality play they have going on, where everyone gets to go home feeling morally superior except us. And why? Because you insist on falling for their bait every time. It would seem that it is you who has the problem, not me. Now, please, I was going. Like, like today on the radio, when you were asked about gays, all three guests were asked the same question. And what did the priest and the rabbi say? Nothing. They danced around the question and even made it seem like it was a non-issue. Hey, our religion never had a problem with gays. Only you used the word abomination. They understood what they had to say, but you just had to spew out your crap. You obviously were not listening. Now, please get the out of my way. The other two felt exactly the same way. You know they did. But only you couldn't figure out what you had to say. You prefer that I lie? I prefer you didn't speak at all. Who is being in fun now? Uh, now, that would make for an interesting chapter. A boyfriend writer, bested by his Arab girlfriend in the new country they made for themselves? What are you staring at? Nothing. I... Don't hit on her if that's what you're thinking. I won't. I won't. Please get dressed. It's a long drive to Russ's and we don't have much time. I'll see you in a minute. Little shit. There you are. I've got you. The expression, uh, look what the cat dragged in, comes to mind. That's one expression. Better late than never is another. To what do I owe the pleasure? The mystery man returns. Well, I thought it was the second half in a committed relationship. I should make an appearance, say hi, show affection, bring flowers, you know, do what people in normal relationships do. That's very lifelike of you. You know, your impersonation of a real boyfriend gets better each time. But didn't you get my message? I broke up with you. It's a shame. I was thinking about how much I loved you on the way over. That's not funny. That's not meant to be. Then don't joke about it. Break hit on Mosem Shukri. Uh, I pretended I was the makeup person, and I rouge up his face like a clown. I wrote whore across his forehead without him realizing. <laughs> that felt so good. Even if, sure, I now have some qualms about that too, but that's just that <laughs> semi-pacifist stuff that thinks this is really great. Feel my muscles. While I was wondering if I was having a breakdown, I did push-ups. In case I wasn't losing it, and I, I really was turning into a man of action. Yeah. Gamal Hakim. Cultural crusader against the spread of lies and ignorance. The new Arab Zorro, armed with birthday cake and lipstick. <laughs> Striking back at all the sellouts and asinine creeps who say crap about us. I wish you'd been there to see it. Or to stop me. <clears throat> I'm starting to have second thoughts about this moonlight. <laughs> they, um, they invited me to meet the publisher tonight, so. So, they like it then? Not really. I mean, she wants changes, like a whole rewrite. I'm starting to get the sense that what they really want is, well, I know what they really want, and I have no intention of writing it, but it's free wine and cheese. What, what do they want? Oh, you know, um, the, the woman unveiled memoir. You know, the, the terrible travails of the, the put-upon Arab female as she swims against the current of all that Arab male testosterone. <laughs> um, the, the struggles of Mona or 
Fatima, as she cries herself to sleep because she was forbidden from doing something by her brother or father, <laughs> but secretly reading all those forbidden Western books that eventually leads to love, enlightenment, and the latest Western fashion. Here, when I get back, Jesus Christ, I'm sorry! Then you vanished on me, long before your disappearing act last week. And you are angry all the time now. And you take it out on me, even in bed, where, where you can make me feel like I'm not there half the time. Yes, you, Mr. Sensitive. And I, I won't become the whiny girlfriend who bitches all the time and starts to wonder, is it me that's making you feel this way? Who isn't pissed off these days? We all are. I just, I can't stand this continuous drumbeat they have going. It's like they have these lies on a loop, always playing, and there's nowhere to escape it. And I can't leave this country because where would I go? And the only thing that I know for sure is that I, I love you and I don't want I don't want that infected by any of this. Oh, Egypt! Oh my gosh, where do I start? I have never been as drunk on a place as I was with that country. And I don't mean alcohol slosh, though God knows half the pleasure of being on holidays. You can drink as much as you want and not be called an alcoholic. <laughs> no one would ever accuse you of that. You've been in this country ten years. And you regard everything you come from as an alien planet? Stop being their goddamn houseboy. So you're here, why then? You accepted their invitation, why? To do what? To be flattered? To sit out and become a successful writer? My you know, feel? I came for the conversation. I just didn't know it would be this dull. I'll tell you why you came. You want out of this heavy suit of armor you always wear, weighted down by all that politics and dogma that keeps you from breaking into the mainstream and being celebrated for your talents, no matter what your banner-waving buddies might think. Really? My asshole character is very small compared to my other, much more <laughs> admirable qualities. Oh, God. I always do the worst things after a few drinks. You know, why is it that when a woman gets beat up in Texas or New Jersey, it's a domestic matter and isn't made to reflect on you as a man, an American man, or this country, but a woman gets abused in the Arab world and suddenly it's an indictment of the whole region, an international matter, and an excuse to make sweeping statements. It sounds like I'm hearing a little schizophrenia on the matter. On the one hand, clearly raising the concerns faced by everyone. We're specific. And on the other, I saying the that. status quo is just fine. Look, uh, Earl, can I call you Earl? At last, it arrives. Oh! <laughs> Puppy, I have so much to tell you, man overseas. Why couldn't they put Egypt a little closer to the States or something? That was one long plane ride. But they were all there, the whole crew at the airport. Cousins, aunts, uncles, second cousins, a lot of people. <laughs> we come from a big tribe. But I think you're right, this is gonna be an amazing trip. I've been smiling like a fool since I got here, and I don't know why. Those ignorant, ignorant bastards! It's like I finally jumped into the pool I've been dreading, and now I'm in it. The water's feeling fine, even better than fine. Okay, gotta go. I'll write again soon. Uh, oh, and I ate the chicken and rice. Even sucked on the bones. Have you called Munir yet? Please let me know so I know you're safe. Little know-nothing shit! Here we go! Of late, I seem to be wearing people's opinion of me. You'll have to be kind. I admit I'm a little nervous about this particular dish, but I can safely say the first course is officially served. <laughs>